Staffing shortages at Polk County's fire rescue now forcing workers to work overtime. Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit today looking into what the county is now doing to attract new hires and fill those open positions. This is the most amount of vacancies I've ever seen. There are 60 vacancies within Polk County's Fire Rescue Division. The president of Polk County Professional Firefighters Union, Lee Stringer, tells me firefighters and paramedics are having to work hundreds of hours of mandatory overtime to make up for staffing shortages. Basically, after a 24 hour shift of running emotional calls, hard calls, stressful calls, whatever you want to look at it, instead of going home to your family members to, to comfort you or to try to get your mind off what's going on, you're told, sorry, you got to do another 24 hours. Polk Fire Rescue is the busiest fire department in the state. Stringer tells me employees are tired and burned out. We've actually lost a bunch in January and we've lost a couple more today. To fill vacancies, Polk County is hiring a full time recruiter, offering a $8,000 sign on bonus to newly hired paramedics and will also pay for paramedic school, which the chief says is needed the most. We need to go above and beyond and we need to do things that are outside of what the other agencies are doing. We need to get more aggressive. We need to take things seriously. This plan will cost the county $1.2 million to implement. Union leaders welcome the solutions. I'm also hoping that through negotiations, we can better our contract and create more benefits and create better pay and try to attract more people also. In Polk County, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.